All right, let's look at this problem. We've got somebody flying a kite. So here I am flying a kite. And it's going to reach 53 feet. So here's my kite at 53 feet. I can't draw really well, but that's okay. So this is 53 feet. And we know a wind is blowing in this direction to the east um, at seven feet per second. And we want to know how fast the string is going through Katie's hands at the moment she's released exactly 116 feet of string. So when we think about this, the kite is now moving over here. And this is the length of the string. So this is, we want to know what happens when this is exactly 116 feet of string. So if we think about this, we've got, um, let's see, we're going to let x be the horizontal distance from Katie to the kite. So this is going to be x right here. And the length of string, we're going to call that z. So z is going to be the length of string. So if I'm talking about this in general, before I start thinking about that 116 feet, I know this is a right triangle. I have 53 squared plus x squared equals z squared. So that's the equation I'm going to be focusing on. Now what I want to do is, because this is a related rate, so I'm going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. So when I do that, I happily realize that 53 squared is a constant, so that derivative is going to be 0. And I'm going to have 2 times x, because that's the derivative of um, x. But again, I'm doing this with respect to t, so I really still need to have that this is like implicit differentiation. I also have to know that I have to put in the derivative with respect to x with respect to t, excuse me, of x. And I'm going to do the same thing with z. All right, so here's my equation. I have 2x, x prime equals 2z times z prime. So how fast is a string going through Katie's hands? I know what I'm going to need in this case is my z prime. That's what I'm solving for. I know that z is 116 because that's the um, moment that they want me to find out what that um, the rate of how fast the string is going. I know what x prime is that's simply equal to 7. That's how fast that's going. And then the question is what's equal to um, x. And I think to find x I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem and say 53 squared plus x squared equals 116 squared. So I'll find x is equal to this positive square root of 116 squared minus 53 squared. And so when I go ahead and use my calculator, I find that x is equal to 103. When I plug everything into that equation and solve for z prime, I find that z prime is equal to 6.23 feet per second.